Hello everyone. I think it's long overdue that I do a coin shop walkthrough. I've had lots of requests for it. I've been kind of in and out of the shop lately dealing with some family things. So I'm back in the shop today and I decided I'm going to get a walkthrough out there for those of you who don't get a chance to visit the shop very often or for those of you that have never been here and like to call and text and place orders that way. So uh, without uh, holding you up, we'll, we'll go on a walkthrough. I'll feature a few things that I think are of, are of interest. Uh, that you maybe haven't seen on the channel before. Start over here. I always like to feature this tray, uh, but I do have a new couple new pieces in here. The first one being in the upper left, a 2023 10-ounce silver kookaburra. Then I also have a Millennium Silver Eagle. That's a 2000 colorized American Silver Eagle. Then we do have some kilos as well. I do have the 2023 Kilo Kookaburra coming as well. I just haven't received it yet, uh, but we will have those in stock soon. And then uh, we do have, there we go, uh, one gram silver pieces. They're two and a half bucks each or five for 10 bucks. We keep a pretty good variety of those on hand. Scan out and pan out a little bit here. Uh, if you watched my unboxing, which not many of you did, it's kind of a dud as far as a video goes, but, um, and that's okay. I mean, videos like that happen. My thumbnail wasn't very interesting. I was in a rush and just put a generic thumbnail out. But anyway, I, I unboxed these in a video uh, earlier this week. What these are, these are limited edition one ounce silver coins, uh, government issued. Um, a limited mintage of 2023 per coin and they're in an acrylic Christmas ornament and they come in these fancy boxes here but we got uh, Harry Potter, Mickey Mouse, got uh, Grogu from the Mandalorian and uh, the Avengers. Um, so yeah four different ones they each have a limited mintage of 2023 and they're a hundred dollars each. I realize that's not for everybody. It's a uh, expensive for one ounce of silver. But if you're a collector and like the collector side of things, uh, maybe that's something you're interested in. But anyway, I ordered them because I like to keep a variety. Not everybody is uh, just uh, buy as many ounces as you can per, for your dollar. Some like to buy this semi-numismatic stuff as well. So in this case here, maybe I can zoom in a little. I got some different two ounce pieces here. I got the mother and uh, child kangaroo or joey. And then I have the mother and child dingo. Those are both two ounce pieces. They're 65 bucks each. Then I have a couple different uh, English ones here. Lion of England and the Yale of Beaufort. Uh, those are 70 bucks each. And I do have 2023 one ounce silver libertads. Those are currently $37 each. Those are gonna be fluctuating up and down with the price of silver. So, and then uh, you've probably seen these before. I have silver cards, silver bullets, silver dragons. Got some hand poured stuff from Bach and Bullion, including hearts. And then in the back row, it's gonna be tough to see, but I got ounce and a half, ounce and a quarter, and two ounce Canadian coins. So, and then on the tray beside it, I just have some different sovereign coins laid out. Uh, top row, Noah's Arks. Then we have the silver Marlins from Cayman Islands. We have the Austrian Philharmonic, South African Krugerrand, and the 2024 Silver Britannia. Those are new. Uh, those are all spot plus 450. So at the moment, as I film this, silver's at 23 bucks an ounce. So that puts them at 27 and a half. Silver rounds, uh, premiums have went, uh, or have gotten higher, I should say. Um, plus 250 on a silver round now. But I got a few different designs if you can see it in here. I should have had this out in hindsight, but I have some that look like the Mercury Dime design, the Buffalo Nickel design, and then uh, 2022 Year of the Tiger. We got a bunch of other designs too. We have some with the, the Bitcoin logo. Uh, we have, I don't know, there's probably five or six different ones in back. Uh, we do have a whole bunch of impaired Silver Eagles that are spot plus four. I literally have a thousand on hand right now. So if you want Silver Eagles on the cheap, I got those at spot plus four. Uh, uncirculated American Silver Eagles are currently six bucks over spot. And I do still have quite a bit of impaired sovereigns. Most of what I have left are the kangaroos from Australia. You can see some in there. 
Uh, but those are spot plus three and a half. And then uncirculated sovereigns are four and a half, and that includes Canada. Uh, pretty much anything that was on this tray that I showed you already, uh, plus Canada, is in that bin. Then we got a fair selection of different 10 ounce bars, five ounce bars. We got a whole bunch of one ounce bars in stock now. We're thinking about doing a sale on those to blow them out. Uh, so watch for that. I'll post on my channel if I decide to do that and my Facebook page. If you're on Facebook, be sure to check that out. And then today when I came into the shop, I decided, you know, we have so many different higher priced silver sovereign coins. I, you know, I try to keep a variety in the shop and I think I do a pretty good job. Uh, but I go ahead and I order these. And a lot of times you got to order a whole tube or you got to order 50 or you got to order 100. So I do that just to have variety, but you know, I might only sell 15 or 20 right away and then I'm stuck having a bunch extra. So I decided I'm gonna to put together a couple different trays of what I consider to be premium silver and uh, put them on a sale price and move them quick. I did post this on my Facebook page today actually and sold quite a few, so I've had to replenish the tray. But this particular tray, premium low mintage, one ounce silver, 36 bucks each. There's South Korean Phoenix. There's an English coin featuring David Bowie. There's a couple of different privy marked Australian coins, a koala and a kookaburra. Some more Korean, there's a Taekwondo, a Chi Woo, Cheon Wang, Korean short haired cat. All of these retail for $40 or more. So 36 bucks is a steal. Um, and then uh, we have a, some Aladdin 30th anniversary silver coins. And we have a Darth Vader also. So that's the more expensive tray because these are a little bit lower, lower than typical mintage. These are a separate tray that I made. These are also what I consider to be premium silver. These have a much cheaper price point than the previous tray. These are gonna be 30 bucks each. So we got a lot of cool different ones. We have uh, Canadian birds of prey. We have government issued silver bars. Those are from Australia, the Perth Mint. Got hand poured silver bars, silver Legos, silver diamonds. We've got the wedge-tailed eagle from Australia. We've got Homer Simpson. We've got current year kookaburra. We have a Star Wars Rebel Alliance. We have four different Pirates of the Caribbean. These are cool. These are one ounce silver bars called Trigger Ted. And they're uh, put out by Soldier Bullion. Lower mintage kind of specialty type stuff. And then I featured these on an unboxing as well. This is a, called Pandemonium. It's a part of the Zombuck series. And then this one is a scorpion, and I believe uh, this is yep, made for the country of Chad, Republic of Chad. Scottsdale Mint produces that. And then we have some Year of the Tigers. We have some privy marked uh, Year of the Sheep maple leaves, and a current year koala. And then we have African wildlife leopards. Any one of these are only 30 bucks each. So that's a pretty good deal for this uh, premium silver. And like I said, I'm just trying to uh, get rid of some excess supply of this stuff uh, to make room for a lot of new things that we uh, plan on getting in here at the beginning of this coming year. And then I also had these come in. I thought they were interesting because I'd never seen them in this form before. These are two and a half gram gold bars put out by the Acre Gold Company, but they come in a cool little box here, which I maybe can't even do one-handed. Try. Anyway, you pull that. Should have thought this through, hold on. <laughs> How embarrassing, might have to edit that out. Okay, anyway, they look like this. It's a two and a half gram gold bar in its own little box here. About eight of these today from an individual, so I have a bunch of these on hand. I'm willing to sell them cheap to move them. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, get a hold of me. Get back into focus here. And then, um, you know, and as always, we do keep different specialty bullion. We have some colorized Tetris and ET stuff here. Uh, we have certified Chinese, whoops, Chinese silver pandas, uh, certified Mexican Libertads. So a lot of cool different things there. Here's our Morgan silver dollar case. I won't spend a lot of time on that because I think I've featured that enough. 
different bins there. So why don't we go over here? Now this is a carryover from our coin show that was a couple weeks ago. I put one gram gold on sale for 80 bucks a piece. I think that's a pretty good price. Uh, for the longest time I was charging $90, especially with gold. Gold is up over $100 an ounce now and I haven't, from where it was, when I sold these for 80 each and I haven't changed the price on these. So 80 bucks each per gram of gold. We've got quite a few different ones available. We've got Perth Mint. We actually have uh, rounds from Money Metals. We have uh, the Maple Grams from Canada. We have some little teeny tiny Pamp Swiss bars too. But yeah, 80 bucks each. That's a pretty good, pretty good deal on those if you're interested. And then we did pick up a lot of different uh, gold items. I'll just feature a couple here quick. Uh, we got some uh, $20 gold pieces. Got a couple of libs in the upper left there. To the right, there's a $20 St. Gaudens. This one's interesting. It's a 14 karat gold coin there. So, but yeah, quite a variety. Uh, we still keep a pretty good stock of 90% silver on hand. There we go. So dimes of both types, quarters, all three types of halves. We've got a lot of cull dollars on hand as well. So, and then I do have these too. I'm, I am selling my vault box coins. These are what I have in the store from all the different vault boxes that I've done. Uh, vault box series four are those two right there. There's an 1881 S Morgan silver dollar. If you didn't watch that unboxing, I'll uh, put it in the description here. I'll link it. And then uh, 2021 S type two proof American silver eagle uh, rated a 10, which equates to a proof 70, which is perfect. And then we have these two as well. Can't really get them because they're kind of far back, but 1880 Morgan Silver Dollar graded a 9.3, which is like an MS-63. That's from Vault Box Series 4. And then the Accented Hair Kennedy at a proof 67. So, but yeah, all those are available in the shop and they are for sale. So, zoom out here. Oh boy, you can tell I haven't used this in a while. I'm out of practice. So that's kind of some new things that we have in the shop. A lot of silver items. So. Uh, if that's anything you're interested in, feel free to contact me. Remember, uh, call or text is best. I'm not very responsive via email. So, but I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, watch for an educational survey coming soon. I'm gonna ask you what type of educational video you wanna see next on my channel. Our uh, trade dollar video is actually gonna launch tomorrow, uh, but by the time you see this, it's probably already launched. So um, I'll take suggestions too in the comments. So if there's an educational video you wanna see on US coinage, drop it down in the comment of any of my videos and it'll go towards the, the tally to see which one we do next. But I appreciate you all tuning in. Thanks so much. You all have a great day.